Good right hand from Delizzi there. Head kick from Delizzi. Abragamov's out cold. Wow, you had kicked him out cold. There you go. Delizzi gets it done by head kick in the first round as Ibragimov looks to wing a right hand. And he's bad-mouthing as well. You cheated on steroids and got caught on steroids. There's no tainted supplement excuse or anything. You were on steroids. Calm down. Um, but good job. Ibragimov got KO'd. That was good, though. That was a good KO. Just as Ibragimov went to throw his right hand, he was already on his way up with a head kick. Bad timing, but what a fucking good KO. So lucky, what the fuck? I mean... Kind of. It was just as he threw the right hand. And he landed with the knee accidentally as well. It wasn't even supposed to. Yeah, it's kind of lucky as fuck. But good KO, though. Still a highlight reel. So I don't give a fuck. That's entertaining. Boom! Accidental as fuck. But, you know, good job. On the juice. Yeah, you got him. He's out. Still out. No, he's good. Guru's picks were shit for today. And I'm to be poor. I'm doing good so far. I'm, I mean, not, not great. But I'm, I'm doing okay. I only got Gordon Albazi. John's got that one wrong. And then Delidzi got it right. But Ibragimov, Dawson. I mean, not Ibragimov. Dawson, Alvarez, Sarukian, Spivak. I got them ones right. What the fuck was that stand up? I have no idea why they stood it up. They shouldn't do that. The referee shouldn't interfere with that. It's up to Delidzi if he wants to get up. And it's after up to Ibragimov if, if he wants to keep it down. But Herb Dean steps in, gets involved, and then just ruins the fight for Ibragimov, you know? Unfortunate, but, you know, head kick from... Not a head kick, a missed head kick that landed with the knee as Ibragimov moved in for Delidzi. Good job. You could see Ibragimov coming a mile away every time he came in. Well, that time, Delidzi had already thrown the head kick before he came in, so it wasn't that he saw him coming. It's just he threw it at the same time. Let Dagger stand down. That knee looked scripted. I mean, it landed clean. It wasn't scripted. Shut the fuck up. He's still out on his feet. Oh, he's there. I don't understand what you mean, out on his feet. He's awake. Da, 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 da. That finish was video game glitch. It genuinely was a video game glitch, but he got it. I mean, then this is how I've been getting these fights wrong. Same with the illegal elbows, but, you know, he got the KO. Fluky as it was, he got it, you know. Good job from Delizia. Heinrich looks like he's stepping funny on his other leg. He just got a knee there in the clinch. Oh, he got tagged. Oh, he's really badly rocked. Oh, and a good body shot from Mavov as well. Clean body shot. Good shot again and a good knee. And a good shot again. Heinrich is down, but he's scrambling. He's What are you talking about looking at the ref? Shut the fuck up, bitch. Finish the job. Fucking piss take. What? Okay, cool. What the fuck is that stoppage? He's blocking all of them. Whatever, man. What is these stoppages? He was getting, he was absolutely fine covering up. What are those stoppages, man? Good win from Imavov, though. He was probably going to win anyway, but fuck me. Why the fuck did you pick Heinrich? Because he was destroying Imavov's leg, and Imavov has looked absolute shit in every single fight he's ever had. Absolute fucking dog shit. But now he whoops Heinrich. Jesus, what a bad stoppage. Let's look at this again. Blocked, 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 and it's over. He literally didn't hit him once there. He literally didn't hit him once there for that stoppage. They can't even show that highlight. But good win from Imavov, I guess. Jesus Christ. Good win from Imavov. He looked good there towards the second, but every single shot was blocked there at the finish. Jesus. What a bad stoppage. But he's Dagestani, so stop the fight, you know. Good stuff. He almost finished Hawes, though. Yeah, in the third round, but then he chose not to. I guess you've got to hold the Cajun cheat against him to win. How did he make welterweight? Good stuff. 0 and 5. Ugh, MMA nerd, you're permanently banned from my chat. Never to come back ever again. Whatever account you join on, all you do is spam. I'm 2 and 3 so far on the card. I got the first two fights correct. Predictions just aren't your thing. I have a 70% overall prediction rate this entire year. Remove the first three cards. I have a 75% overall prediction rate. I'm better than you could ever wish to be. Heinrich just got tagged and stopped because he blocked every shot. Good stuff. Blocked with his face. No, with his arm that took every shot. Not a single shot landed for the stoppage in any way whatsoever. You can't finish someone with punches to the shoulder. It doesn't work like that, but he finished him anyway. 63%. First, take away the first few cards is 75%. We can't pick them all. It's the fight game, yeah. 
Bad stoppage down. DC is so biased, though. I know you're not on commentary, but it was bad. Yeah. I imagine so. But Imavov, man, shit as fuck against everyone other than top competition that takes Gastelum to a close decision. Good stuff. Anyway, you picking Ian again? Uh, yeah, I'll pick him against another opponent. He's pretty good. Good right hand from Delidze. And again, he drops him. He drops Phil Hawes. Shots against the cage. He's put him out cold. Oh, my God. Good job from Delidze. Didn't expect him to rip his knee out. Good fucking finish. Wow, what a fucking brutal finish. Wow. There you go. Delidze. Dangerous as fuck, dude. Did not see the jiu-jitsu coming at all. Really clean jiu-jitsu to get that leg. And elbows off the bottom as well. Fucking dangerous, man. Definitely improving. Good shit. And I think that might be the end of Phil Hawes' career. Leg destroyed. He's going to have to have a lot of time off. KO loss. That's tough. I thought he tapped to the uh, the leg lock, you know. Let's see if he tapped. I'm pretty sure he did. Let's have a look. No, he didn't. He didn't tap, to be fair. But he, like, put his hand on the back. Why is the ref jumping in like that? Stupid ref running in like that, though. Thank you for the two pounds, Dan. Should not be let off for that horrible ref. And yeah, that was bad to like jump in and then jump back out. You can't do that. Oh, that KO is fucking vicious. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, that is such a vicious KO. I hope he turns around quickly after this. That is such a vicious KO. Holy shit. In it. That's one of the most vicious this year. I know there's been like crazy kicks and stuff, but like that is, I know the leg was like made it a bit easier, but that was actually one of the most vicious KOs this year. That's like a real highlight, real KO. That's his best. That was so clean. Pre got off of his back. Yeah, it's true. I didn't see that coming. You know, against John Allen Arte, he wasn't that great in the jiu-jitsu. Um, but he's definitely been improving rapidly. And he's an athlete, so he's going to pick that stuff up. But yeah, he looked great off of his back. But he's just fucked up Phil Hawes' career, though. Good win. Let me have a listen. Cheyenne, I'm coming for you. Ready your push. Ready your boom for this Caucasian cock. Underhooks the arm, flattens him out. Crucifix on top, big punches from Imavov. Edmund's got a scramble, but this might be a finish here. He might just not be able to escape this position. He's trying to scramble over. He's trying to get his shoulder turned, but his elbow's city here. This is going to be a stoppage. It's going to be over. A couple more elbows, they're going to call the fight off. He's not moving. It's going to be called. He keeps trying to buck and it's over. Fuck, Edmund, you... I'm so... feel so bad for him. I said second round TKO, though, but fuck. Imavov's really good. We know it. He's definitely improved. His last fight with Heinrich was his only full camp fight. This is his second full camp fight. He looked great in both of them. More than he did in the Phil Horse fight, which was on short notice. His debut was on short notice as well. He looked good. Fuck, Edmund, man. Pulling gillies, man. You fucking downy. It's all good, though. They're giving him such tough tests. I just made a shit ton of money, though. I'm out of his shit, Guru. It's a middleweight division. He's good for middleweight. <laughs> Obviously, he loses to Jordan Williams at welterweight, but a middleweight, he can conquer top guys. Fuck! Sakes, Edmund is... He's such a nice... He doesn't even drink or go party. He has no friends. You know what I mean? Like, fuck, he's actually like a homeschooled autist. And he's put his whole life to this and it's still not working because he has inverted ribs. It's so sad, the inverted ribs. Fuck, give him another chance. He fought okay. And if he just doesn't stupidly constantly beg for a single leg and actually stand on the range, stand at range and leg kick over and over again, he could probably do quite well. Put himself in an inverted, tri in inverted triangle, though. 
Dude, Delizzi's jujitsu is fucking sick. What the fuck, dude? I really underrated that part of his game early on in his career, you know? Hermanson scrambles out of this uh, technique, though. Should try and land some punches where he can. It's calf splicer now. He's got Hermanson in a calf splicer and he uses it to take the back. Good punch from Delizzi. Hermanson in a lot of danger here at the end of round two. Good punches from Delizzi. Hermanson's got to try and scramble. But Delizzi in a good position here with like a calf splicer back take. And Hermanson literally cannot scramble out of this position, really. He needs to try and get wrist control. He needs to try and get wrist control, but Delizzi's landing some good shots. And Hermanson just, that's it. Wow, that's fucking annoying finish. But there you go. Wow, crazy. He just can't get out of that position. He got calf splicer. There you go. Crazy. Great jujitsu from Delizzi. Hermanson should have just strayed in uh, stayed embarrassing him on the feet. But his jujitsu's fucking slick as fuck. What was that stoppage? I don't know why they stopped that. It's kind of over a little bit weird, but you know, it's all good. <clears throat> he wasn't moving. He can't move from there because he's in a calf splicer. You know, called that shit. No, you didn't at all. He was getting fucking humiliated and embarrassed. He's shit as fuck, but just randomly got that good scramble off because of his jujitsu. You didn't call anything to do with that at all. Good work from uh, Delizzi, though, with a back take there off of the calf splicer. Haven't seen that happen before. Crazy, crazy um, situation. And like, Hermanson literally can't move from this position. It's impossible to scramble from that position. As soon as Jack starts to get punished, he sees Jared. Okay, fair play. Crazy though, right? The Lidsy pulled that off. He was getting fucked up, embarrassed, like he had no idea what he was doing at all by Jack Hermanson on the feet. He needs to offensively grapple, like strictly offensively grapple because he actually can't strike for shit and he's terrible. Like he needs to grapple only. His jiu-jitsu is sick as fuck. Like I think he might be able to beat Muniz on the ground. Thank you very much for the two Canadian dollars. I told you Delizzi's next level. No, I don't have any idea what you've been saying ever in your life. Um, Delizzi's not next level at all. In the jujitsu, he is, dude. You can't deny that. As soon as he went to the ground with Hermanson, he was like on another level with the scrambles in jujitsu. Hermanson, I have no idea why he tried to take him down. No idea. After the first round of the scramble, I think he should have just stayed standing and continued to school him on the feet. That's what you should have done. But you messed it up. Delizzi by adultery, yeah. Clean win from Delizzi, though. Clean. How did they stop that? I mean, they could have let it go a little bit longer, but he wasn't moving and couldn't move. So I get it. Jack looked great. He did. He looks good on the feet. Delizzi literally didn't land a single shot in the first round or start of the second round. He looks shit. Like he has no idea what he's doing, but he needs to just go for the fucking takedowns and shit over and over. Thank you very much for the two pounds. Miniz versus Delizzi could be a grappling banger. It could be. Crazy fucking transitions from Delizzi. Crazy. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! 